morning you guys. It is currently 4 a.m. and I'm very excited having my morning tea because we just got our stuff together and we're ready to go off to Cuba. We're going to be going to the airport just in a couple minutes here. So off we go now to Cuba. Cheers. So we just arrived and we're about to enter our room. So I'm really excited to see what it's like. So we actually just arrived at our room and it was like a pitiful walk because this place is gigantic. And we got here and our car doesn't work. So my husband just went back down to the front. But while I have you by myself, let me just show you the little view that's right outside of our room. Cause I think it's stunning. You ready? Hey! I love it and I can't wait to go there. It's so stunning so far. I'm really excited. If only we could get into our room. No. Update, we got moved to a new room. New key, let's try this out. Yeah. yeah, it's perfect. Thank you. Okay, so here it is, you guys. Here's the bathroom. Very nice. And then over this way, the main bedroom area. Very cute. And then obviously the most stunning thing about this room is the ocean view. And that's just so pretty. Though I will just say, this is the third room that they have given us. The first one we couldn't get into. The second one had a puddle of water. And this one's perfect. And so here's to starting our vacation on a positive note. Good morning. It is a beautiful day outside, which is just awesome, and it's super early. We're going to head on over to breakfast, and then we'll either go to the pool or we'll go to the beach. We'll just have to see where the day takes us, but I am ready to eat a good breakfast. Let's go. Okay, so I want to do something a little bit random because around where I am, I have been seeing a bunch of different fruits and I don't know if it's just me, but every time I see fruit trees, I think it is the coolest thing ever. So let's begin the fruit tour. So up here, I see coconuts. These ones are green, very cool. And actually over here are some more coconuts. And then there's also these growing out of some sort of palm. What are these? They look like olives. This also seems like something. What is this? <laughs> so this looks like it's sugarcane, if I'm not mistaken. I've never seen sugarcane actually growing, but this definitely looks like it. So the way that it works, I think, is you can like cut off 
the like I don't know like the stem part portion of it and then you can eat it you peel the outside and you can eat it so I've had sugar cane before and it's delicious and I think this is it and then over here are bananas I've never seen bananas like this just like here so this must be what a banana tree and there's more over there it's so cool and I'm wondering because you know how like sometimes from the grocery store you buy um, bananas and they're just like full-on green they must be picked when they're like that color right so could you like pick it and just wait for it to ripen and would it just taste good I mean I don't know and also I'm wondering because I remember from naked and afraid because I like watching that show I'm pretty sure my husband reminded me that inside the like trunk of the banana tree there are is water I think but actually I think all of these are banana trees am I right Today we are just waking up. It's actually a little cloudy outside. Oh, there it went. That's okay, because I think it might be the perfect opportunity for us to go to the downtown area. Apparently from where we are, we can just walk a couple minutes and we'll be there. So maybe after breakfast, that's what we'll do. But either way, I think it's going to be a good day.
Is it good? Oh my gosh, yeah. This is unlike anything I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Tastes like sugar cane or like not what you expected? Not what I expected. It's really, really good. It's good, right? It's really good. It's unlike what you would expect. Wow. How do we make this in a home? Impossible. <laughs> Good morning guys, I am just sitting outside. My husband is waiting for me to go down. And um, I think today we're just gonna take it easy. Maybe we'll go to the beach. We also need to get a PCR test. <laughs> we also need to get a PCR test today, so we'll find a time to do that. But the line was really long when we went. Also, I showed you the banana tree and I snuck and picked a banana. It's really ripening. I feel like in like a day or two days, this is gonna be yellow and I'll be able to eat it. What do you think? I wanted it. the day at the pool and then the beach the waves were actually insane at the beach today so big and actually kind of violent so we couldn't stay there for too long we went back into the pool and then we came back and I washed my hair and now it's wet and in a bun but I think we're just gonna change and go to dinner because I'm getting hungry usually at this time like every single day I've taken a nap but today I haven't taken a nap so I'm tired and um, hungry so dinner is a good option. So I guess I'll change and we will go. Boop, 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 boop. Good. What is it? Closing my window. Virgin. <laughs> okay, I'll try. This is so good. So good. And a final little banana tree update. This one is like fully falling over. And the one that was here that I picked a banana from 
is gone. They cut it down, which my understanding, they cut it down and a new one will grow. Um, so that's why there's like a lot of previous stems that were cut down. And it's pretty cool, but I can't believe the whole like plant or tree is just gone. And that is the end of our fruit tour of the trip. <laughs> time I found this little seashell. Focus, come on. And it's like cute and orange. And it's the same kind as the previous yellow one that I found. So I feel like I need to keep it too. I have this thing with seashells when I find cute ones. <laughs> Look how baby it is. So cute and little. It's like tiny. It is officially our last day today. This is a really good trip in terms of like the weather, the food, the people have been nice, the beach has been nice, the pool has been nice. I really can't complain. Thank you so much for joining along on this little Cuban journey. It's been so much fun. And I'll see you back home in the next episode of Homemade Happy.